Okay, so here we are again. Um, progress is being made. Um, I was following the signals through the uh, two channels here. Uh, at one point I was struggling a little bit to find out where certain signal wa signals went and I discovered that they went to a switch which was the pull to invert on channel 2 which essentially is this little guy right here um, he's mounted on a couple of standoffs in here with a physical linkage up to here and when you pull the shaft it activates the switch um, so I decided okay signals were going all over the place when I messed around with this and so I decided I'd take it all apart um, which I have done, cleaned all the contacts, made sure there's sufficient pressure on the contacts um, and uh, yeah, give it all a good clean um, on some of the wires you probably can't see it but these wires that go off the switch to the board were all rooted underneath the switch itself and so this wire here was bent at a very sharp angle and actually was punctured by uh, one of the components on the board itself so this was shorted onto that part of the board um, some of the other wires that went onto this were also problematic and underneath the switch itself I found some wiring um, which had shorts between tracks so plenty to keep me busy um, so I'm going to put all this back redo the wiring so that the wires don't go underneath the switch just make them a little bit longer and root them so that they're not under stress um, the other thing then I found um, is this uh, let me make sure I got the right thing it's down here so in here is the selector switch um, for selecting channel 1 uh, channel 1 and channel 2, chopped channel 1 and 2, all the different options and then channel 2 and again I found when I um, messed with this that signals on the board generally started to go crazy and so uh, I don't know if I can show this to you, if it will show up but there's a resistor going from a switch here on, on this lug of this switch and it goes down to this lug of the uh, if we put some light on it uh, to this lug here on the selector switch but guess what it's not soldered it's just resting <laughs> against this so we gotta tidy that up as well so, um, what I'm going to do is uh, get that uh, switch back in and rewired properly, um, fix that connector there, put some deoxid on the contacts of the selector switch, pop it all back in, we'll try again. Okay, so there is the, um, the switch wired and I've, uh, as I say, I've run the uh, different connections so that none of them go underneath the switch and uh, end up getting trapped with the uh, component leads coming up from the other side um, and I resoldered that wire on the, that was uh, coming off the uh, wafer switch over here give it a bit of deoxid and stuff and so we'll put it all back in and see where we are now alright guys so here's a bit of an update um, having put it all back together I basically have a stable situation I still have the fault uh, but at least now things are very stable and predictable. Um, I lost a lot of time because uh, one of the reasons is um, the silk screen printing on the board is not... There's a couple of smudges on it and so the... For instance the test point where the signals go off the board um, off to the time base module is uh, test point 48 and I had been using test point 48 as per the silk screen printing on the board it turns out that was smudged and that was actually test point 46 just looked like test point 48 um, so 
Yeah, no wonder I was getting all confused because the signal on test point 46 uh, is actually the valid signal coming through and going off to the time delay, uh, and etc, uh, etc, et which of course is working fine. Um, so that threw me. Um, anyway, got that sorted. Um, the other thing, as I say, looking for all sorts of uh, uh, other things that are weird, because the semiconductor seem okay. I can't find a faulty transistor. Um, I can't find a faulty diode. Um, it's just really bizarre. However, what I did find is there are two large electrolytics that are actually mounted on the back plane here. Um, and they look like they decouple uh, these outputs um, and they're both bubbled um, and they're fairly large electrolytics the book says well the, depending on where you read the book at one point it says 600 microfarads and the other one says 400 microfarads um, and so I guess I think I need to replace these so in the spirit of getting things stable and ever more stable, I think I'm going to go and I'll replace these electrolytics and so while I'm at it I'll order up a few of the um, electrolytics on this board. They, they all check out okay in terms of value and ESOR, I didn't check them for leakage but um, certainly in terms of ESOR and, uh, and their capacitance value they seem okay. I've done things like lifted one off the board just to see if it makes a difference, it make any difference to the fault. Um, the other thing I've discovered is those resistors that look to be overheated, their values are spot on. So I haven't re changed out any of them yet uh, because they're all 2% tolerant resistors in here. And I don't have any 2% tolerant resistors. I only have 5 and 10s and 20s. Um, and so, yeah, I thought they're obviously not default now. And so I'll just leave them there and I'll... When I get the thing fixed, I'll see if maybe I go, go back and retrofit uh, uh, some resistors uh, instead in their place. So, that's it. Um, sorry it's been a little while. My guests were here up until a week ago. Um, and so, yeah, uh, so my son was here with his girlfriend and... Uh, he and I were doing some lutery stuff, um, the results of which I'll put a link to uh, in the description um, for those of you interested. <laughs> I will tell you, um, unless you're familiar with the heavy metal genre and a sub-genre called mathcore, uh, this might be a little bit unusual when you hear it. However, it's uh, I think it's cool. Uh, but then I guess I'm biased, because uh, the clip, if you go and look at it, uh, my son is not only playing this this Balinese instrument called the Kachapi, he's also uh, playing the drums. Um, and so we're doing that. Uh, what else has happened? Oh yeah, then I, the day he flew home, I went down with a really bad case of the flu. So I have been like, just medicated and uh, going through all of that crap. Um, just starting to shake it off now. So getting back on form. Um, and the other thing that arri that's arrived is my next uh, radio project uh, has arrived, so I'll do a separate clip on that. So for now I'm going to order up some electrolytics for this, uh, and then I'll swap those over, and then we'll get back into it. <laughs> 